Good morning from Bozeman, Montana. We had a very good night of sleep and we are ready to start our adventure in Yellowstone National Park today. So we just got here to Mammoth Springs Lodge and from here we will get to the Old Faithful Lodge. So I see our luggage there. So I'm assuming that this is the snowmobile that we are taking to our destination. Okay. And I'll have this with me the whole time. So you'll see this map a few times throughout the We're up here at Mammoth. We're going to go down to Old Faith, which is down in this area. So we're just going straight south. Just straight south. Uh, Yellowstone is a figure eight system. In the wintertime, it's a figure six. This part is actually closed uh, during the wintertime. <laughs> These things have huge tires. Again, just be careful walking up and down. This gets a little icy by the end of the day. Sure. Again, I'll be at the door to allow you in and out. So. Oh. Or not allow you out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll actually have a few empty seats. My question was, uh, where would it be? Uh, probably no place. Probably up front. The very back has a heat. Okay. okay. So you don't want to put it out fast. So we'll see. I mean, it's, it's got ice in it, but we'll see. We're taking a short restroom break here. Look how beautiful. In the snow. It's nice and cold outside. Welcome to. Is that a bunker? It's gonna. It looks like it's just a spring. It's a hot spring. Hot spring. Yeah. It's okay. Bubbling water. So we're walking to this hot spring in front of us, and oh my god. You can see the steam. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. 
<laughs> you can smell the salt. How cool is that? Wow! Wow! <laughs> So this one is burial thing. There you go. All the minerals forming these beautiful colors on the edges. <laughs> so by the way this vehicle I was referring to a snowmobile is called coach that's a coach your pals here I can do the snow a little bit this one's like a little 400 foot hike a little bit longer than right off of uh, the parking lot so that's uh, that's gonna be another spring yeah I think we're gonna see another spring some water way down there. I think we're gonna get a nice look over it actually. So maybe it's not a spring. Uh, you know, we're just along for the fun. And we're having probably. a lot of it. I saw the sign said something. So it turned out we stopped to see a waterfall, we did not see a spring. It. And look how gorgeous this view is. Lovely. So we just stopped here for another um, restroom break and a possibility to get some hot chocolate but I want to show you this. This is a, a snowmobile party. I've never seen anything like that. How many snowmobiles? How cool. And that's uh, the Ranger snowmobile. And that's the question of the day. What do you love about Yellowstone? If you guys have been to Yellowstone before, uh, let us know in a comment what did you like most about Yellowstone. For me so far, even though it's been only a few hours, but I think the wildlife, some bison and deer, those pretty nice. Hi. You want to move around the coach? Uh, you can. There are, there are uh, other national parks that do have the wild bison. Oh, most, most areas have them where there's actually in a fence area. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, here's but this. still, this even in a large fence area, here, it's moving. still. Bombardier. How lovely. 
<laughs> so cute. Bombardier. Bombardier, Bombardier, Bombardier. Cookie! I need my glasses. So we are staying tonight at Old Faithful Lodge. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> and uh, thanks. Thank you. Okay. We're going to spend the night here and then go check uh, Old Faithful, of course. I think it is erupting next in about 10, 15 minutes, maybe less than that. We just stopped by the ski rentals to kind of sort out the situation for either later today or tomorrow just to kind of decide are we doing some skiing or some snowshoeing and they gave us a lot of information which I will upload to the website at some point and so for right now we're just gonna head it out to see Old Faithful which uh, we're really excited for right yeah yeah we got we have a moment or two to get there for the early for possibility yeah we have about five minutes I would say until it it erupt so that should be pretty exciting I think we just follow this path I didn't see any sign yeah I agree <laughs> oh my god that's a lot of people in well from seeing everyone coming the other way it seems like we just missed it yeah so when they give us the time it's plus or minus about 10 minutes it's yeah. not like this thing's a subway they can you know set the schedule anyway we'll come back later Bench. You're standing on top of a bench. <laughs> we are standing on top of a bench. Like, Why is it so slicky? Yeah, if you was break dancing on a bench right now. Show us your moves, baby. So since we missed the first uh, Eruption. Um, we're stopping here by the visitor center to inquire about the next one and make sure that we are back here on time this time. So yeah. So they do have a timer here, and the next one is supposed to be at 1:48 p.m. Uh, and it also says that predictions are 10 minutes either earlier or later. So. Yeah, 1.48 p.m. is the next one. I'm reading here a little bit about Morning Glory Pool, this one. And it's crazy because they said that um, People by tossing coins into the pool, they altered the color of the water. And when they try to, you know, fix that, they have found about a hundred dollars in coins. <laughs> so that's the money glory pool. <laughs> We're talking about how the animals that stay by the geysers a lot had their teeth wear out a lot earlier in life. Oh, really? Because of the hot water and such, and the way that the minerals and, and chemicals in there uh, affect their teeth. You can see, like, some of them, like this one, has a lot of good teeth in it. 
And this one, teeth are really just worn down. So, so this is the one for the animals. It's a jawbone from an elk that. Yeah, uh, and this one is geyser. normal. Yeah, and this one's the one that lives elsewhere in the park. That's crazy. I think the same thing goes for you. Well, you're right inside there. Good teeth, right? And then over here, a jawbone was worn down where they wow. chewed stuff down because it's. From all the minerals and. I'm guessing it's temperature. The as water well as minerals. temperature. I don't know which one more than the other. <sighs> Do you know all four kinds of thermal features? Hot springs, geysers, mud boats, and fumaroles. Wait, is it true all faithful geyser? Geyser is not as faithful as it used to be. Mm -hmm. No. Old Faithful still erupts regularly, though the time between eruptions has become longer. This is likely due to changes in the underground fracture system of the geyser. Mm. Next question. Okay, you read. Is it true that Yellowstone is a giant volcano? Da -da 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 what do you think the answer is? Let us know in a comment. You're going to say it's true. Yes. Yes. In the past two million years, three huge volcanic eruptions have occurred here. Partially, molten rock lies beneath our feet and provides heat for the geysers in hot springs. Is it true that Old Faithful is the tallest geyser in the world? I don't think so. We learned that Steamboat Geyser is even taller. Or oh, coming up here. No. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Steamboat Geyser is the tallest active geyser in the world. It is located in Yellowstone at Norris Geyser Basin. At least seven other geysers in Yellowstone are taller than Old Faithful. Mm. Wow. All right, easy. Is it true that Old Faithful is the only geyser in the park that people can predict? No, again, they were telling the steamboat. They said when it erupts, it erupts about every three days. Actually, not true. And so I'm saying, <laughs> not true. Not true. Okay, the eruption times of several Yellowstone geysers are forecast. Check the monitor in the lobby to learn about others in this area that you may want to see. I was telling Alex that it's fun for kids to learn these things. For adults, it's always boring and very, very long text. Yeah. Yeah, ah, and look, look. The animals have bones. <laughs> Here are some actual bones. Like, give me some bones. I know, right? Bones, you touch the bones, bones, you touch the rock, and if you are an adult, it's just so boring, long text. We are going to the auditorium to watch a geology film. <laughs> it's gonna be about 20 minutes or so. So, because we're gonna be basically just waiting for 1.48 p.m. So.